revisiting an area that I um, had stopped off at kind of a remote area can you see in the background and I'm gonna have to start uh, doing some road walking just to get to the trail so come on and join me and not too bad of a morning it's overcast it's cool so that's a plus that's where we're going So not sure how far I'm going this time, and don't be impressed because it's not that far. I'll either be doing a two mile out and back to my car, which will equal four miles, or a three mile out and back, which will be a total of six miles. So uh, I'm just a little limited because of my transportation, you know, when you can't get a shuttle um, things like that. I have been looking into the possibility of maybe buying a really uh, lightweight type of scooter and hiking with that and then eventually you know when I get to my destination which would always have to be at a road junction I can pull that thing out and just leisurely you know take a little scooter ride on the dirt roads back to my vehicle but I've been looking at the weight of those and I really don't want to have to carry more than 30 pounds and that's what uh, I saw the weight of for one of the scooters that I'm looking at so we'll see pine forest isn't that awesome Okay, on a little two track now, that's okay. There is this first camping in this area. You just have to make sure you're not camping on posted land. But the Huron Manistee National Forest uh, owns spots all along through here. So if you were desperate and you couldn't make it to a destination say like the Twin Lakes campground because there is that's I think a National Forest campground with only eight sites that's up about another eight miles or so uh, you can always pull off if you got the water for it and camp again look for any posted signs and then you will know if it's okay to camp this is Not possible. It's not possible. This is a switchback. Michigan has a switchback. What? Nice little bridge. This is Cold Creek, 
as uh, documented on the Far Out app. I guess it's a potential water source. I mean, I see deep enough water right there, and I imagine that after a rain, it's really moving quite well. I see just a slight, slight essence of a trickle. You could filter. And our next road crossing. Oh, see those mosquitoes flying in the picture. Annoying. Well, I had to resort to this. It's going to be a little hotter, but I, I just can't deal with the, whatever's flying around me. Could be gnats or mosquitoes, but uh, now I'm glad I brought it. I can deal with being super hot. Uh, what? Past these. Didn't even see them till coming on the way back. Crazy. I thought they were just in that other section. Man, looks like Hotel Woodpecker. Yay, got it done. Uh, my mileage was kind of weird, so I took it a moment to look at it real quick. 6.75, but only 3.1 counts because of it's trail miles and then having to repeat it. So we'll see you in the next video. Have a great one.